Shepard Dice. Welcome to this Stateless Codecast. This is episode number 13 in our series NerdDice.com where we build a Ruby on Rails application uh, to manage tabletop role-playing. We're in the middle of a uh, an, an epic to set up user authentication using device and um, you can see we're making progress through this. You can look at the previous videos to see um, kind of catch up. As of, as of this point, we've installed and configured device and we've created a user model. Now, in order to test that this is working, we need some ability to, uh, some pages to log into and see essentially one that doesn't require authentication and one that does require authentication to allow for that navigation and differentiation. So that's what we're going to do in this video. And then depending on how that goes, we might be able to get some uh, controller tests passing for this as well. And, um, and then in starting in the subsequent videos, we'll start getting this working with an actual browser and making sure that it works that way. So we'll go here. I'm going to go into my terminal here and we're going to use the Rails generator here. Rails G controller will be the welcome controller and it will have an index. So we can see that that is um, existing there. We've got our um, the item added to the So let's take a look at what got generated here. So we've got our welcome controller in our controllers section. That's our test for it. There's the controller itself. So it generated with an index action. We have a view here. And it kind of gives us the default um, Tailwind classes and all that stuff. So we should be able to fire up. Oh, let's take a look at our routes here. So we've got get welcome index. We'll anticipate the anger and wrath of the cops here. Actually, we'll do get welcome to welcome index as welcome. And we will make that our root. gives us what we want and we'll make that the root of our app. So I now should be able to in a separate window here run bin dev to fire up our application go to localhost and we are in the welcome index so that will give us welcome index this will also give us welcome index that will not but that's fine so we uh, welcome path is what we want um, and that, that that's fine for what we got. Let's take a look at these other routes that we've got. So these are mostly the 
you can see all the device routes here, device registrations, confirmations, um, unlocks, and then we've got our root path now going to welcome index. So all these things were generated by in the um, device um, generate users, where it says device for users here. That's where it um, it gave that information. So. Add some comments here. kind of a top level documentation comment here save it make sure that I didn't break anything to our root path here and we can see that we've got this I will uh, let's take a look at so this is the default route or uh, default view here and it tells you where to find it we had already taken a look at this so let's uh, I'll pause and add some um, information here uh, let me see if we can run so we have ah because we changed our default route here in the controller test let's fix that This just becomes now welcome URL. And we're back to green. I will, um, what I'll do now is I'll, I'll pause and I'll add some uh, assertions about what I expect to see. Uh, so should get index for logged in user, should get index for uh, logged out user and um, both of those things will have a little bit of differentiation there so that you can tell the difference between them so I'll pause and write some failing tests and then we'll modify our um, view file to um, reflect some of those recursions and stuff like that all right so I have some basic tests here let's walk through what we're going to do here so uh, we'll have the get welcome URL so that we have one test for should get index for non logged in user and should get index for logged in user in both cases we're going to get the welcome URL uh, we're going to assert that the response was successful in both cases we'll have the um, nerd dice there uh, as we th this is just basic uh, we don't care much about the content here. This is the working and ugly phase of this. We'll, we'll deal with how to design these things for user experience in a future epic. But anyway, when you um, are lo not logged in, it will assert that you have text saying to sign up and log in, and it will not have text saying to visit the members area and to log out and then in the 
um, the other situation when you are logged in and we'll have to handle logging in in a controller test. We'll do that after we get the first one passing. Um, we will uh, have the logged in attributes show and then assert that the, the non-logged in attributes uh, should have hyphens. Uh, so assert that those are, are not present there. So we'll save this. This will fail because our index.html.erb still looks like this. So we will fail it. Both of these should fail because neither of them um, have nerd dice there. So let's add that in to our index here. Change the text here to nerd dice. We're still going to have two failures, but we're um, farther down here. So um, we'll We'll change this. So the, the way that we'll differentiate between this is, and I'll just, all right, so we've got some logic here. So if the current user, which is a um, some, something that's pr provided by Devise, uh, you will link to and have the visit the members area and uh, the, an option to log out. And then otherwise you're not there's not a currently logged in user will have the uh, ability to sign up and to log in. So if we go in now and refresh our page, we can see that we've got the sign up path, which takes us to the device controller here, which is ugly. We'll style that later. Uh, and then also the ability to log in. So uh, those links are working. We should have now be down from two failures to one failure in our controller test. And we are down to one failure. So the back here, the um, should get index for non logged in user is now. Uh, passing and then um, we will um, try to get this working here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by just trying to get it passing in the the item itself and then we'll uh, refactor this out as a method once we're um, Once we've got it passing here. So we're going to post to the user sessions path here with params. And I guess we'll add a setup here. Make this the, the DM, I guess. these instance variables. And see if that gets us to where we need to be. All right, we still failed here. see what happens when we 
we'll add a return value in here. We're getting a failure and an error. So assert not select is not a um, an item there. Two hundred. So it's just giving us a a status here. Let me pause and do a little bit of troubleshooting. All right, so here was the uh, the mistake here. So oh, two of them. So I've got uh, I needed to include here devise test integration helpers that lets us uh, sign in that user. We um, can then assert that the response was successful and move on. And then here, instead of I, I previously had assert no select, which isn't a um, um, a real uh, assertion there. So I just changed that from uh, assert select to assert no match. Uh, so we'll see how that goes um, and run our controller tests. And we can see we've got one pass and one error. And the error that we have is that uh, we have no method called authenticated path. So that's that's a good problem to have. That means that um, we haven't generated that um, that controller yet. So um, if we were to just temporarily comment this out. Add the string here. It should now pass. Wanted a P button. I bet that's just the my nesting there, that should be a form. Because it's a button to so P I think form button should give us what we need. Let's put our our response content there and see the HTML that was generated. We're also getting false, false positive test passes here. There we go. So P 
form button log out. That looks like the correct nesting. These should have both be instead of response to string, these should be response.body. I don't understand why that is not maybe I can just do button That gives us passing. We will get rid of our puts statement there. Now we will go in and generate our authenticated controller. So we'll do Rails G controller. Gives us the authenticated index. Um, I'm just going to put so it should probably just be in our test helper rather than we'll refactor it at the end of this if everything else goes well. So we've got our routes now. make this similar to the other one where since it's only an index all right so that in and of itself should make this work So that's that's failing in the other uh, item there. So this is going to be so in our controller. authenticated controller test here. So uh, I'll pause and write the, so th this shouldn't work because we need to, um, and I'll, I'll make it fail right off the bat. Uh, so I'll make it pass by using the right helper. And then I'll make it fail by using the or 
requirement to authorize here. Authenticate, I mean, not authorize. So here, this will make our test fail now. Or at least it should. You can see it's a, a redirect there. So that's what we want. Uh, now we'll, I'll pause and write the failing test to get it to where we want it, and then uh, we'll go from there. All right, we've got our basic, we don't care that much about the content version of this authenticated uh, test ready to fail. So we will go to our test cases here, run these. So we have two failures um, expected to find back to welcome page, and we didn't. And expected to be a redirect, but it was okay. So we have in our authenticated controller right now, I've got this commented out. So um, it didn't find in either case there um, because it, it's no longer requiring user authentication. Uh, and so we'll um, take a look at this right now in the web page. So if you've got the web page, it will uh, go to authenticated. Right now, it will let you go there. But when we add in before action authenticate user, now it will redirect you to the user sign in page with the flash, me flash, mes flash message you need to sign in before continuing. So now our unhappy path test should pass here, I hope. Two failures, no errors. because uh, it's, it's not going to the user. Um, yeah, it's not going to the root path, it's going to the sign-in path. So let's fix that. So in our authenticated controller here, failure and an error. Undefined. Take a look at our All right, new user session path. That is the name of our path. Fix that. Now we're down to the one failure, and that's about the uh, the content there. So we haven't saved this content yet. Uh, so right now I've just added the back, back to the welcome page and log out. We still have the authenticated pound index there. Uh, we'll leave that be for now and see if we can get to a state of passing. We are make sure that everything on our tests is passing. All right, we're good there. Now let's see how RuboCop is feeling about this.
RoboCop's line. Uh, so I think that gives us the, the one other thing I want to do here is so in our test helper, instead of having this, having to include this in our controller every time in the test helper here. Test helper. here and So take it out of here. Save my test helper. What did I do here? probably in the module level actually. Let's try that. No, because I don't want to do that at the whole. We'll see. Still failing out there. We will so it inherits from that. Oh well. Go back to where we were, where it was working. not too terrible of a of a problem there so we will try rerunning everything make sure I've unbroken it good 
Turbo Cop is still happy. Let's take a look at our Git status. Git diff. Changes to the config routes are what we want. So I think we can do a git add and a git commit. I'll pause and write my message. All right, I've got my commit message. I'll save it, make sure that I didn't have any unsaved items there. And we'll push to the remote. I'll pause it and let the action complete. All right, we're green, so we can go into our issue. And mark this subtask complete. And we'll see you in the next video. Actually, one more thing. So I'm on the um, project page here. I'm going to move this to in progress. And then done. Now I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching this Stateless Codecast. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and spread the word. You can follow us on social media at Stateless Code. Until next time, keep coding, and don't aggress against peaceful people or vote for others to do so on your behalf.